We're on a tour of the threatened coastal California with Jack Laws. And Jack. it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Jack, where will you be taking us today? Uh, we are going to be uh, beach hopping and we're going to start at Ocean Beach in San Francisco, curve along the inside of the of the bay to a few other little beaches that I think you all think are quite lovely. And uh, then head across the Golden Gate Bridge up into Marin County where we'll be exploring a lot of the more wild beaches and uh, ending up in Point Reyes um, where uh, it, there's just some fantastic areas out there. So we're going to start more urban and by the end of the day uh, be way out in the Thules and uh, should be a lot of fun. Welcome to Ocean Beach. This is Ocean Beach. What you don't see is a beach that goes all the way down as far as Pacifica. So this, um, at low tide, you can walk all the way. Um, down at the far end, you get to big uh, coastal bluffs that are eroding into the ocean. Uh, nesting habitat for bank swallows. And uh, there are fossil sand dollars that fall out of the, uh, that, that erode out of nearby sediments and you can find up and down the beach. So not recent sand dollars, but fossil sand dollars. I forget how old, but mighty, mighty, mighty old. Um, we've got surfers playing out here. Down here is someone practicing their martial arts. Birds covering the rocks. We're gonna go down here and see what type of gulls are in. And if we're lucky, down on this beach, we might be able to find a few sand crabs. Little. What's he called? Uh, this is a narid worm. That this end here is its mouth. It's sort of probing with. You can see the. Uh, Beautiful oh, yeah, little jelly. See the little tentacles. What beach are we on well, now? Well, China Beach. A nice little mixed flock of gulls. What we're seeing here that we didn't see at the previous beach is in the foreground a group of ring-billed gulls. In a big mixed flock of gulls like this, the species will kind of stick together. What a beautiful view back there with a little bit of the, the bridge appearing out of the fog. We're stepping out onto Baker Beach. As we do, we're going through an area where the Park Service and hundreds and hundreds of volunteers have been working at uh, establishing these native plant communities in here again. This is just a spectacular area in springtime. Lots of flowers. We still have sand verbena popping up over here. Let's see if there's some here that still in bloom. It is near the trail here. There's one that you probably get a good look at. This is a neat dune plant. It's succulent, so the leaves are very, very thick to hold water. You know, the, um, like a, a, a cactus holds a lot of water. Jack, this is uh, your namesake beach, Muir Beach. Special significance for you. I don't know if he ever came here. Oh, really? But, uh, it is a, a neat place. There's, uh, there are salmon runs up this creek. And after the first big rains, you come, uh, once the, the level of sediment in the creek is clear, you walk up here, this creek flows up into Muir Woods. And you can see these huge, huge fish, their backs out of the water, splashing their way upstream. This is a uh, beach that is very popular with surfers, sunbathers, even though there's no sun today, and great white sharks. Um, so it's, the swimming is often closed off because of a big fin which will cut through the water just offshore. Uh, down this direction, you can see some development. Uh, and it goes along a dune system that separates 
the Pacific Ocean from Bolinas Lagoon right behind that. This is an area that would be very, very vulnerable to the changes in sea level. There is a larger long-billed marble godwit and near it a, a, a willet, which is that small, a smaller one with a shorter bill. And as I've been watching these, that godwit is diligently working at trying to get food. When the, uh, just a moment ago, the Willet was just walking along next to it. And whenever the big guy would get some sort of uh, organism from the, the sand below, he would snatch it out of the big guy's beak. We're at uh, Drake's Estrella here, which is a huge salt marsh. Um, these channels that you see here go all the way out uh, to Drake's Bay, where we'll be shortly. And this area down below us is a very, very rich marsh habitat. This is Point Reyes Beach North, um, all the way up to uh, the lighthouse. There's a huge beach that goes all the way out. The whole thing has this fantastic surf crashing in on it. The contrast with this, which just goes right out to the Pacific with Drake's Beach, which we'll see in a minute, is a really interesting Beach on the Point Reyes Peninsula. Today we have seen some absolutely beautiful parts of the California coastline and a number of the different animals and plants that live in those places. Those organisms have evolved over millions of years in this place. In each of our lifetimes, we are, as human beings, with tremendous control over the fates of other species. We have a responsibility to be stewards of, of those organisms around us on our watch. As human beings, we need to take care of what is here right now. Um, just the, the fact that the Earth may recover from behaviors that we have at some point in the future is no reason to mistreat it now. What's here is precious whether you believe it came from millions of years of evolution or you believe that this was an instant creation by an all-powerful God. So get yourself out to these places. Remind yourself how special it is, how beautiful it is, and what it's about, what we are protecting.